This is Christian Voice. I'm Stephen Green. One Cathy Gethin says the four-year sentence given to her daughter, Just Stop Oil activist Cressida Gethin, means she'll miss her brother's wedding next year. Take a look. My daughter is Cressida Gethin. At the age of 22, she was the youngest defendant and she has just been sentenced today to four years in prison. This means she will not be present at her brother's wedding next summer. If I were to channel my inner Windsor Davis, who played Battery Sergeant Major Williams in It Ain't Our Fault, Mum, I should be saying, Oh dear, how sad, never mind. But that would be as uncharitable, wouldn't it, as the universal views of over two and a half thousand people who commented on this story on the Daily Telegraph website, none of whom could find a kind word to say about this daughter of former London Symphony Orchestra cellist Nick Gethin and his music agent wife. Cressida just had to do it, said Mum Cathy, because people weren't listening to her call to impoverish the population by stopping travel, plastics, fertilisers and reliable electric power. Yes, they were, Cathy, they just didn't agree with your daughter's misanthropic views. Because of Cressida and her narcissistic friends scaling gantries along the M25 in 2022, ambulances were delayed while thousands of people missed their flights for business or well-earned holidays, their medical appointments, exams, funerals and possibly even weddings. But Cathy Gethin is so self-absorbed, displaying such a monumental lack of self-awareness, let alone any empathy for other human beings, that none of this matters. That's because the idea, the idea that the sky is falling down and the planet is boiling is more important than the immediate needs, livelihoods, families, aspirations and prosperity of fellow human beings. In the Bible's book of Proverbs we read, The righteous considereth the cause of the poor, but the wicked regardeth not to know it. This affluent family care nothing about the lives of those below them struggling to make ends meet as energy prices are inflated by pointless green subsidies. They are possessed by their own self-righteousness and self-importance. They have elevated the planet, which is like us a created thing, into a goddess. Paganism always does this, and the result of putting Gaia instead of God at the centre of all things is that people cease to matter. So watch out for this veneration of the idea, whether it comes from climate fanatics, trans advocates, secularists and godless socialists, even sports teams. Remember to put God first and centre, because when you do that, everything else falls into place. Never forget, the Lord Jesus is upholding all things by the word of his power. So click below to sign our petition against the absurd, wasteful, ungodly Net Zero project. Pray for Cressida Gethin and her parents. All this story is on our website. You'll see that link below as well. And feel free to post your comment there or here. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, like and share this video, and don't forget to do this work of testing current affairs against Scripture. We rely on the Lord's blessing and your prayers and financial support. Thanks for watching.